and the chairman for the Cruz campaign in California, Ron Nearing. Ron, uh, you just heard Sunland uh, talking about a possible lawsuit. Let me just again uh, read Trump's tweet. If Ted Cruz doesn't clean up his act, stop cheating and doing negative ads, I have standing to sue him for not being a natural born citizen. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to just joke this away if it really happens. A lawsuit in the middle of the has to be really the last thing that Cruz would want to deal with, isn't it? Well, Ted Cruz wasn't intimidated by the Washington cartel when he arrived in the United States Senate. He's not about to be intimidated by Donald Trump. Look, there are lawsuits around campaigns all of the time, all of the time. I've been involved in politics for 25 years. There's always something going on uh, in the courts. And what Donald Trump is doing once again is uh, replaying the same playbook that he's been using, which is whenever he gets into trouble, he takes to Twitter and says crazier and crazier things so that the media will follow him around and he'll be able to suck up some of the attention going to the news cycle. Everyone's kind of figured out that this is how he operates. And what's been interesting to watch is that, number one, his comments are now in the context of having lost Iowa after he guaranteed that he would win Iowa. The only rationale behind his campaign was that he wins everything, and now he doesn't win everything. Uh, and, uh, and, the, the, and what he's been saying has just become wackier and wackier as we get closer. Lord only knows what he's going to say as we get closer to, uh, to the South Carolina primary, but we'll, well see. Well, we'll see if Lord knows, Jeff Lord. Um, let me just play. Uh, again, <laughs> what Ted Cruz uh, said tonight uh, about Donald Trump. Here he is. There's more than a little irony uh, in, in Donald accusing anyone of being nasty, uh, given the, the amazing torrent uh, of insults and obscenities and vulgarities that come out of his mouth. Trump has launched plenty of attacks against his opponents, Jeff, and he has used some pretty nasty words. Uh, does Cruz have a point? Well, I, look, I, my view of this is you stand back and let the Giants wrestle. Uh, what I think Donald Trump is doing, and I think this is one of the reasons why his supporters like him so much, is he's fighting. I asked him myself about two years ago uh, about the complaint from the people in the grassroots that Republican nominees for president didn't fight back. You had nice, very nice Mormon Mitt Romney suddenly being, and everybody said, oh, what a great guy. Then he and he was accused of uh, killing a steel worker's wife and, and uh, bashing a, 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 a gay kid when he was in high school. I mean, these were really despicable things. And the Romney campaign more or less let this stuff just sit there. Mm. The same kind of thing happened with John McCain when he ran. So what people want is a fighter. Trump said he would fight. That's exactly what he's doing. If he can't withstand this, if Ted Cruz can't withstand this, if the others can't withstand this, then they shouldn't be the nominee. And I think Donald Trump is showing his fight and showing what he's made of, which is a very good thing. All right, Ron, and you know what the thing is here is that it isn't just Donald Trump. I mean, it, it, Ted Cruz has said nasty things about Donald Trump. And here's part of his new ad about Trump that, that also is pretty negative when we play it. Trump bankrolled politicians to steamroll the little guy, a pattern of sleaze stretching back decades. I mean, sleaze is a pretty nasty word. How is that any different than Donald Trump, Ron? Well, I think Donald Trump is in big trouble over his uh, abuse of eminent domain and using government power, not for building hospitals or for public purposes, but rather so he could have a parking lot for uh, limousines uh, at his uh, casino in Atlantic City. Uh, a few people would say that that was really for a good purpose. And, you know, this speaks to the fact that, uh, that so you stand uh, Donald by it. Trump you think does sleaze it. is an accurate word. Well, look, you know, Donald Trump himself calls himself a deal maker uh, and that his number one attribute is that he's going to make more and more deals. Well, we've had plenty of people in Washington making all types of bad deals. And the last thing we need is somebody in Washington who's going to just focus on making a deal, regardless of what the outcome of that is, and without having mm -hmm. solid principle. I don't well, think that this campaign saying. comes down to... Well, I, I think what Donald Trump is saying is that he is someone who staked his career on, quote, making deals. But we've had plenty of deals that have been coming out of Washington that have put, taken the country the, in exactly the, the problem, wrong direction. Ron, this is, what, what, this Ron, is a, what this is a choice Ron, between you can make someone deals who's, as long as you make them th in the this right is direction. A choice between, this is a choice between someone who's been a conservative, Donald Trump, for about six months uh, versus someone who's been a reliable conservative, someone who's principled, someone who's been Ron, challenging the, the status quo in Washington okay, and, challenging and, and challenging Ron. the Washington cartel and problems in both parties. That's what okay, Ted Jeff? Cruz is doing. That's the type Ron, of leadership Ron, that we need Ron, in Washington. The exit, polls, the, rec the exit polls, the CNN exit polls out of New Hampshire showed that those who voted in New Hampshire, who self-identified as quote-unquote very conservative, gave the nod to Donald Trump over Ted Cruz by 12 points. 
So I understand what well, you're we, saying, but the people of New Hampshire well, we didn't buy it. Know the that very New, conservative, the very we, we conservative, and conservative, conservative New, New folks Hampshire in New Hampshire didn't state. buy it. Okay. New, New Hampshire is a state that's done very well for liberal Republicans in the past. We've had a lot of people who moved from Massachusetts to New Hampshire. Huh. That's an establishment okay. Republican state. It's, it's a state Ron, where liberal go, Republicans tend to do reasonably I want to well. ask you one more thing, because you mentioned uh, not being concerned about the lawsuit. But, you know, there was another, another lawsuit getting more coverage today out of Alabama. Five Trump supporters in Alabama filing a federal lawsuit. Uh, as, uh, on Cruz's eligibility to be president because of being born in Canada. A CNN legal analyst uh, tells us that they may have the standing to sue. There's a lot of question about what standing is in this case. They're not the only ones. There are other lawsuits out there right now. Are you prepared to fight this all the way, to fight Cruz's eligibility to serve as president in court? Uh, a couple things. First is that these lawsuits are generated in order to try to generate earned media attention. That's the purpose of lawsuits like this. We see this all of the time at the federal level, state level, local level. This is done in order to generate a press release so that somebody with a cable news network will give it coverage well, and then uh, try to affect the outcome said of the they political process that they may indeed have the standing, that, that, it, that, it could, that it could be real. That, that's why I'm asking you about it, though. Well, we, I, you could probably find a legal analyst who will say that just about anything has merit, uh, you know, given the, the state of the ju judiciary here. But we do know that it is a fact that this issue has been settled, that Ted Cruz is a natural-born citizen, and, uh, and we've... we've and of uh, testimony to, to that uh, well, so far, and the settled. courts are the courts are very reluctant to get involved in, in an inherently political process, and that's the, that we've seen over and over and over again that uh, it's the losing side that wants the courts in order to override the will of the people, and I don't think that's going to happen here. All right, thank you both very much.